Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. This is a, a quick market update for January. This is January 2023 compared to January of 2022. And just so you can kind of get a feel for where we are and maybe where we're going. So this year, and this I'm looking at Richland, Lexington, and Kershaw counties, residential properties, which includes single family, condo, townhouses, patio homes, uh, but specifically that. I'm not looking at commercial properties or multifamily or anything like that, just, you know, residential properties, the normal residential properties. So this January, in the whole area here, 615 properties sold. That is compared to 1,794 properties last January. Big change, a 66% drop. So there's 66% less properties that sold this January compared to last January. Now, as far as average sales price, the average sales price this January, January 2023, was $279,147 compared to $280,315 last January. So less than, well, I think it comes out to be about a 1% difference. So the price didn't hasn't changed that much, even though volume was really down, prices held about steady. Now, uh, as far as active properties on the market, January of 2023, there were 2,660 active properties on the market. January of 2022, there were 3,356 active properties. So the inventory is way down also. Now this is going to probably be one of the saving graces, or at least it's the thing that is not allowing property prices to just plummet, is the inventory is still very tight. It seems to be getting even tighter. And uh, so that by itself, supply and demand is going to tend to keep prices up. Now, a couple of other things that we've noticed is in January, uh, compared to December, mortgage applications are up about 25%. So there are people out there, there's more people that are getting ready to, you know, potentially buy a house or thinking about buying a house. And this is the other thing. And then talking with some pretty smart people around the United States, uh, we're all kind of agreeing that, you know, with the news coming out and all, there's a certain portion of the buyers that are probably thinking, oh, I can get a real steal right now. I can, I can get this house for 20% less than I could have last year or something. But what's happening is as they're going through the process, I think more and more buyers are realizing that they can. Volume is down. Prices have not plummeted. As I said in a, a video I did just about a week ago, the big economists around, there's differing opinions, but the worst opinion was it's going to recede 10%. Most of them were somewhere between 1% and 5%. You could expect prices to pull back. What I have been seeing is sellers are more willing right now to give concessions again, to pay for some of the buyer's closing costs uh, or to pay for uh, interest rate buy downs or things like that, rather than reducing the price a lot. So anyway, this is just hopefully it gives you a little bit of a feel. We're moving forward. Volume is down. Prices so far have not pulled back much with inventory being so tight. My feeling is it's going to tend to put, keep those prices up. And of course, I believe real estate is still a great investment. Now, if you are interested in hearing uh, something a little more micro, maybe your specific area of the Midlands or even your neighborhood, feel free to reach out to us. I'd be glad to run a little report 
and let you know what your neighborhood has been doing, you know, over this, you know, January compared to last year. And I will be doing these market updates, you know, every month so you can see how the real estate market is doing. Give us a call. We always love talking with you. This is Lance Woodley with the Lance Woodley team at EXP Realty.